Hello students from 8th standard, 11th chapter that is statistics. In this chapter today, we are going to learn percentage bar graph or diagram. Previously, we have learned about subdivided bar graph, subdivided bar diagram. Now, let us understand what is the meaning of percentage bar graph. Before that, let us see this chart of town versus the number of survived tree. There are three towns shown, RV, Morshi and Barshi. Also, total number of trees are given there. In RV, total number of trees are 60, Morshi 75, Barshi 90. Now, trees survived in RV 42, in Morshi 45, in Barshi 45. Now, if we want to compare the number of trees survived in RV, Morshi or Barshi, in this comparison, we must equalize the total number of trees. For that, we know that the very famous method that is percentage method is used. Percentage of trees survived in RV. It is equal to now in the denominator total number of trees that is 60 and in the numerator trees survived in RV that is 42 into 100. Now calculate 2 3s are 6, 2 5s are 10, 3 1 is 3 and 3 4s are 12. So 14 into 5 that is 70. So, in RV, 70% trees are survived. So, percentage of survived trees is 70. Okay. Now, let us calculate trees survived in Morshi. Another town, Morshi. Oh, total number of trees in denominator that is 75. And in the numerator, tree survived that is 45 into 100. So, 25 threes are 75, 25 fours are 100. Threes were, 3 1 is 3 and 3 fives are 15. So, 15 into 4 that is 60. So, 60 percent trees are survived in Morshi. Let us count the percentage of trees survived in Barshi. So, in Barshi, the percentage of trees survived, total number of trees 19 and survived trees are 45. So, into 100, 45 1 is 45 and 45 2 is 90, 2 1 is 2 and 2 50 is 100. So, 50 percent of trees are survived in Barshi. So, in this way, we can calculate the number of trees survived in percentage. What is the difference between subdivided bar diagram and percentage bar diagram? We can see now we observe here that if total number of percent, total percentage of trees 100, 100 and 100. So we are comparing with 100. The total must be 100 here. So it is also a kind of subdivided bar graph. But its height must be equal to 100. Okay. Now there are two parts or two things are shown in this bar. First is trees survived with blue color and trees unsurvived with white color. So percentage of uh, trees survived in RV is 70%. So we have taken here 70%. And percentage of trees survived in Morshi 60%. So we have taken here 60%. And percentage of trees survived in Barshi are 50%. So we have taken here 50%. So in this way we can uh, draw or easily understand what is the percentage bar diagram or graph. Okay. Now next. Now let us observe the given graph of percentage bar diagram and answer the following questions. Okay. In this, uh, in this diagram, in this graph, we have seen that for farmers, 
and their production in farm is given. So production in farm is given in percentages and uh, two crops have given here uh, production of tur and production of gram. Okay. Now let us turn over the questions given here. Question first state the type of graph. State the type of graph or bar graph. So easily we can easily, easily understand that height of each bar is 100 and the production in farm is given in percentage. Therefore it is a percentage bar diagram. So write down the answer of first. Now second. Uh, second question is how much percent is production of tour? In total production of Ajita's farm, how much percent of tour production in Ajita's farm? Yes, 60 percent. So, in Ajita's farm, 60 percent of tour production. Third, third question compare production of gram in farms of yes and Ravi and state which per whose percent of production is more and how much. Now compare the field of Yash and Ravi. Here is the field of Yash and Ravi. Yash and Ravi. Now we have to compare the production of gram. So production of gram here and we have to Tell that whose percentage of gram production is more. Uh, definitely we, we can observe here, we can compare here that gram production of yes is more. And how much uh, gram production of yes is 50% and gram production of Ravi is 30%. So definitely gram production of yes is more. of yes is more and by 20% it is 20% more gram production of yes is 20% more we can easily you understand fourth question whose percentage production of tour is the least so whose percentage production of tour uh, is least so we can compare Ajita's tour production is 60%, Yes tour production is 50%, Ravi's tour production is 70% and Sudha's tour production is 40%. So can you tell me whose tour production is least? So it is very easy answer that Sudha's tour production is very least. Sudha's. And fifth question that is state the percentage of tur and gram of Sudha's farm. So observe the Sudha's farms uh, tur and gram production. Tur production is 40% and of course the gram production is 100 minus 40% that is 60%. So Sudha's tur production and gram production is 40% of tur production and 60% of gram production. Okay, in this way you can easily give the answers of asked questions here. Observe the given graph very carefully and answer each and every question. Okay, next. And let us understand how to prepare percentage bar diagram or graph. For that, let us discuss the data given here. The following data is collected in the survey of some students of the 10th standard from some, some schools draw percentage bar diagram of that data so data is given here school first second third and fourth now 10th students are observed here their inclination towards science faculty or commerce faculty is given here for first school the science faculty the students turn to the science faculty are 90 
and students turn towards commerce faculty are 60 in second school uh, to the science faculty are 60 and to the commerce faculty are 20 in the third school to the science faculty are 25 and to the uh, commerce faculty are 25 in the fourth school to the science faculty are 16 and to the commerce fac faculty are 24 okay now from this given data we have to prepare the percentage bar diagram before that we want here uh, the total number of students in first school second school third school and fourth school total number of students total so total number of students in first school in 10, 10th standard are 150 in the second school it is 80 in the third school it is 50 and in the fourth school it is 40 so let us count now percentage of science stream first and if we calculate the percentage of science stream then we can easily understand the remaining percentage of commerce faculty okay so calculate the percentage of science stream so let us discuss the percentage of science stream in first school total number of students are 150 and out of that 90 are turned towards science faculty into 100 so 5 threes are 15, 5 twos are 10, 3 1 is 3 and 3 threes are 90. So 30 into 2 that is 60% students are turned towards science faculty. So let us write here 60%. Now next, next school that is second school. Let us observe, let us calculate the percentage of students turn to a science faculty in second school so second school and total number of schools uh, total number of students are 80 out of that 60 students are turned to a science stream into 100 so calculate it <coughs> 4 twos are 8 4 1 is 4 and 4 fives are uh, 4 fives are 20 2 1 is 2 and 2 5s are 10. So 15 into 5 that is 75. So 75 percent of students are turned towards science stream. In the third school, let us count. In the third school, in the third school, 25 students out of 50 are turned towards science faculty definitely 25 is the half of the 50 so 50 percent is the answer but let us count here let us calculate here 51 is 50 and 52 are 100 25 into 2 that is 50 so 50 percent of students are turned towards science faculty now in fourth school let us count in fourth school the data in percentage fourth school so total number of students are 40 in 10th standard and 16 are turned to science stream 4 1 is 4 and 4 4 are 16 4 into 10 that is 40 so 40 percent students are turned to science faculty so in this way we are we have calculated here the all the uh, number of students in a science faculty in percentage now let us draw percentage bar diagram using the graph paper we know that firstly we have to draw x and y axis so let us draw x axis here x axis then y axis y axis also drawn here 0 now on the x axis can 
टेक स्कूल्स स्कूल डेटा फर्स्ट सेकंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ एंड ऑन दी वाई एक्सिस वी कैन टेक परसेंटेज ऑफ स्टूडेंट्स okay and in this percentage is up to 100 so let us take scale of 1 cm is equal to 10 percent definitely scale taken is very easy here in the percentage bar diagram 1 percent is equal to 10 percent is mostly appropriate scale So, at the right corner, we can write scale, scale on y axis, 1 centimeter is equal to 10 percent. So, let us take now uh, school first is here, first, here second, here third. And here fourth. So every bar here of the height hundred, because total percent is hundred percent. So every bar have must be height one hundred. Now write uh, draw first bar of height one hundred. We have drawn here four bars up to height one hundred percent. Now let us divide it by taking consideration of the inclination towards science faculty in percentage. First school, uh, first school have the science inclination of sixty percent. So divide that sub uh, divide that percentage bar diagram at sixty. So here it is divided. Second. 75 percent so it is divided here in third it is 50 percent exactly 50 percent and in fourth it is 40 percent now these bars are divided in two uh, kinds of information now let us give the index index of which color is shown which kind of information so let us take two colors here green and yellow so green color is showing the percentage of inclination towards science stream science stream and in yellow color or it is Uh, commerce stream is shown with yellow color now the graph for percentage diagram for given chart is over now you have to solve now practice set 11.3 okay